Hello and welcome back. And this time I'm going to review what is considered, without a doubt, the most divisive Star Wars film to fan bases. And that is Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi. Now this one, this, first the positives with this film is visually it looks really good. It, like it was very well filmed, shot, basically, yeah. Visually, it does look really good. And I did like the character development of Kylo Ren. I thought that was one of the few things they did very well with. I'll give it credit, though, for trying something different. Because I get why some people may have not liked The Force Awakens, and that is because it was too much similar to Star Wars. But honestly, I like The Force Awakens. And that's just me. But this film kind of threw away the plans for this trilogy. And that was a kind of a shame there because honestly, I think if they had just stuck with one director for all three films, I think it would have been much better executed. And that's where things went really downhill was Ryan Johnson. What was he thinking? I don't get why he went this path of um, messing it all up and coming up with his own ideas he should have just stuck with what J.J. Abrams had planned out, and it would have been much better. And the other positive I will say for this film, I will say is the music score from John Williams, obviously. Because that is one thing that did remain consistent with the entire franchise was John Williams' music score for the whole Star Wars franchise. So absolutely well done there. I did like the chemistry between um, Rey and Kylo Ren in this one. The Force connections and all that. I thought that was pretty well done. And then the throne room fight with Snoke's guards and Rey and Kylo Ren I thought was pretty good too as well. And I like the little fan service stuff they did with Luke, R2 on the Millennium Falcon. That was a cheap move. I thought that, that was a great little moment there. And the Luke and Force Ghost Yoda moment I thought was pretty good too. But the movie does drag quite a bit though. And that is mainly because... I mean, first problem with the film, Canto Bite. Most everyone will agree on this one. Too much time there. And it just... Eh. And plus they wasted the talent of a couple of very good actors and actresses. That is, um, Laura Dern. I mean, Vice Admiral Holdo was just terribly written terribly performed and i don't blame the actress i blame the writing once again from ryan johnson again no sense of direction and then the other one they wasted away was benicio del toro terrific actor but they wasted his character and that's unfortunate because talented actor like that should not have been treated like that And also, Captain Phasma. We finally get to see her fight for a little bit, but it's short-lived. I wanted to see more from Captain Phasma. And yeah, it was a shame. So overall, I mean, like I said, visually, it looks good. But storyline-wise, it really messed up. So overall, there are stuff to like about it. I'm not saying they're all bad. It was just... I don't know. I was in the middle with The Last Jedi. To me, it's one of my lesser favorite Star Wars films. It's not my least, least favorite, but it's kind of down there. So overall, yeah. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll be back again soon.